Hey friends, welcome to the farm. Here is Jesse. What are you doing, Jess? I'm building the frame for the new chicken coop. Here is the chicken coop. I don't know if we showed you guys this. Pop got this at one of his sales. And this is, what's this, Jess? What would you call this? A good find, huh? Yeah, it's probably the most money he's ever spent on something that we'll use. Yeah, so and what kind of chickens are you uh, we wanting to put in here? I would assume that you're putting whatever you got that's laying eggs in here and then put the other ones in the old coop, the Polish chickens. And when you were younger, chickens. you had your white Polish chickens and what were their names, remember? I think Colleen named them though. They were all Sesame Street. I remember <laughs> the boy was Elmo, there was Big Bird. I don't remember the rest of them. And then I had the little black and white one too. They were so cute with their little fluffy tops on them. So we still have the auction number on here. Got to get this off. And what, were, what do you think, Jess? Keep this on here? This. Is it the lizard? Yeah, oh yeah, look. Look at this. We have this lizard here that um, just made it to the farm one day. And we keep them because I keep moving them to different places. And Charlie told me yesterday, he's like, that thing startles me sometimes. So, so it is pretty funny just that there's a fake lizard there. Um, this is the inside. And I think I need a dead video. I didn't get to watch the last video because we've been so busy. Um, Charlie blew that out and we got to get in there and clean it a little better. But grab the eggs from here. And that'll be pretty cool because we can show people that come to the farm. So Jesse's working on that. Here's Anita. How are you feeling today, Anita? I'm kind of tired. Huh? Kind of tired? I, what time do we go to bed? Like 2 30? Yeah. Something like that. And uh, by the time that I had to get up at 6 with the boys to get them ready for school. So, oh no, my sunglasses are stuck on my hair. I don't know why Patty Dog decided to get up at 5 20 this <laughs> morning. You got a wreck going on. Yeah, I got Put them on, they cover up your bags. That's, That's why, why I'm I was doing it. Thankful for my glasses. And then I forgot it's um, QA today. Yep. So I was looking for the questions. So um, are we going to do that now? Or? Yes. Are you going to get it with me? Or? Yeah, we'll put this. You don't want to go in the greenhouse. We could do that. Or you could have Jesse hold it. Yeah, let's do that because um, we're cleaning up everything. We don't even have There's nothing even okay, to like go? prop things up with. And Yeah, let's get Jesse. Jess, come here. Because she can't do that while we're doing this anyway because that drill will get her on everybody's nerves. Hold the camera. See, we We need a parker. Look, this is our new parker. New Looks parker. just like him. Mm -hmm. Right here? Out of the yeah. yeah, well, we can go here. Let's see, John. This is my issue. My phone is about to die because I forgot I didn't plug it in this after I came home really late. All right, so I have, do you have the Twitter ones? Uh, these are, um, these are Twitter ones. Do you have the YouTube ones? Yep. Okay. So wait, first, to those of you that don't know where we were last night, or yesterday, all day, we were in New York watching Jesse's doc, and it was amazing. It was really For those cool. of you who don't know, Jesse Ridgeway had us in his um, series, McJuggernuggets Psycho Family. And there was a big premiere of the documentary that was made about him making that series. You can look it up on Go90 if you want to watch it. And we were in it more than I thought we would be. I thought there'd be just like one little blurb, like, yep, McCann Farm, here's them. But like, we talked quite a bit in it. And Pop was very proud that you two were movie stars and went to your New York City movie premiere and did signed autographs. Did, did you get to tell Pop that he was on the big screen? I told screen? him that he was on I it. wanted to see his reaction to that. I told him this morning and he was like, so I'm a movie star. I said, yeah, you're a movie star, Pop. It was just like a walk by, but you were on there. So he was hoeing on the big screen. Oh, yeah, I forgot the hoeing part. Right? Yeah. I saw, there's two ways then, because he walks by at one point. Yeah. All right, you got a question? Yes, I got one. Kristen Hale. What, is that Mickey Mouse? It looks like it. Mickey Mouse. Oh, yeah. So I'm on YouTube answering these questions. What is the most popular grown slash sold item from your farm? Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Or pumpkins. Or I was pumpkins. Gonna say pumpkins. I bet I was gonna say bet we would all answer the same. 
pumpkins, very popular. Pumpkins. Busy yeah. time of year. Depends what time. time of year it is. Like in the spring, I would say it's lettuces, and then it goes into tomatoes, and then it goes into pumpkins. So yes. But if we were talking about the most exciting thing that people say, I would say hot peppers. Well, let's answer the next one. That's an easy one. Who is that? D4G13. Did you enjoy this Psycho Family Doc? Yes, we did. Yes, it was exciting. And it was so cool to, ooh, that's a loud motorcycle, to meet a lot of people that were excited to meet us. Like, that is just the strangest thing. That is, it was, it's, it's it was weird. a weird feeling. But so happy for Jesse because that was just awesome. Because we're walking in the street of New York and people are like, Anita, hi. And I'm like, hi. Like, it's just strange when people know your name and you don't know them. Yeah. Oh, here's a cool question. Seth Richter Music says, you should start growing money on trees. Oh, I answered that. Did you see? I said, I wish I knew yeah, how to do that. Oh, man, that would be awesome. Oh, I guess we could get arrested. Like, unless it was real money? I don't know. Probably doesn't grow in New Jersey. Yeah, yeah. it's probably not a New Jersey. And probably crop. the tax we'd have to pay. It'd probably be some reason that we couldn't do it in New Jersey. Oh, oh, she? Oh, she? Shy? Oh, she. Oh, she. Oh, S H I E says, when did you get into working at the farm? Well, I'm 49 years old, so now I'm 39. She's lying. again. No, um, we we when we were born, this our, you know our dad worked at the farm, so we've always had little jobs to do at the farm. We took over running the farm full time. How many years ago? 2007. In 2007. Ten years. Wow, it's our 10 years. But we've always been here. We just grew up that you had to help, and just like our kids, we've shared before. Like our parents were divorced, so we were here for the summers and weekends, and we spent a lot of time here. And it was just known that that was the farm, and you had to work hard. Uh, same person asking another question, and we're going to answer this. You guys really help out people that want to be educated on farm life. Cool. Oh, that's a question, but thank you. That is cool. And I got to say, Peanut Head said, "Would have watched you sooner, but I was in school." Uploading, oh, uploading, uploading. Oh. On Sunday night, I was uploading, and somebody unplugged my laptop. I'm gonna blame it on Pop because everybody else knows, like, don't touch Mom's laptop. So when I woke up in the morning, only half of the thing had uploaded. So then I had to restart the whole upload on Monday morning. So I know all you guys were at school. And our buddy here, Harrison Pelosi. Well, now you already got the answer to that. Are you guys going to the McJugger Nuggets Doc movie tonight? Yes, we did, and did you go? Did on you go? our way. Yeah, was he there? Were you there? If he was, I hope he would have said hi, but I don't need him. Oh, I, I responded to this already. It says, um, who is it? Brandon Rudolphs asked, where do we get our seeds? I actually responded to it on the, the thing so that you could see it all written down. But um, we go johnnyseeds.com, harrisseed.com, totallytomatoes.com, and joeshotpeppers.com. All of those, we get different seeds from different places. Obviously, Totally Tomatoes. We get a lot of heirloom tomatoes. Um, and hot peppers from there, and then Joe's hot peppers, we get all the really super hot hot pepper seed. Another one from Brandon, this could be for you. Hi, Farm, you should do a how-to video of how to make strawberry jam. That was actually supposed to happen last year. Uh, we don't grow rhubarb, so I, I wouldn't make rhubarb jam, but um, it was supposed to happen last year, so we'll, we'll see if we can get it to happen this year. And when you answered this person, but we should do this one too. What is that, Bennett? Oh, yeah. Do you guys ever get a holiday away from the farm? No. Once in a while. Like, <laughs> At I'm, convention. I'm going to um, West Virginia in a few weeks here, but Nancy can't go with me. And then sometimes she goes to Colleen's um, Glute One conventions. Glute One conventions. And then the only time we go away together is the first week of February is the New Jersey Agricultural Convention. And we, we can all go there because... We leave and we, we leave Nancy's daughter, Jessie, who's holding the camera. She has to feed all the animals while we're there. Anybody else? Um, we, do you oh, have, I have on Twitter. There? I have Twitter ones. I, okay, on Twitter, Owen Carey says, at the farm, did you get more or less business during and after the Psycho series? Somebody asked us that yesterday yes. in New York. We, we we didn't get any business from the Psycho Series. We got a lot more recognition for what we do from the Psycho Series, I think. we Our, our, our dollars haven't gone up at all. Let's put it that way. But we 
one thing that it did do is, is it gave us the YouTube channel and a lot of the customers we already had really enjoy seeing us at the farm when we're not in the city with them. Because we correspond, I mean, in the 10 years we've been doing this, we correspond with thousands of people a week. So yeah. even if a fraction of them watch our videos, I mean, that's probably the people, the people that, that are. watch the yeah. videos. And we, yeah, if I put on like that we're going to Jefferson Farmer's Market in Philly and a list of what we're doing, at least 500 people look at that. And that's always been, that hasn't increased just because we were in the Psycho Series. But we met some really people, good people. Oh yeah, we've met a lot of really so. nice people. Like Donald J. Trump. I don't know, that's his YouTube name. Yeah, not the president. We haven't, yeah, met, him we haven't met him yet. He should come to the farm. Maybe you would come here. One time I was in Atlantic City and he had just left when I got He knew you were coming? No, I guess so. He was like, ah, oh, she's coming, I'm out. I'm out of here. But uh, he, he had been in Atlantic City and funny enough thing is he had been at the Walmart on 322 on your way into Atlantic City, you know what you're trying to mean? Mm -hmm. And I had gone in there to get something and everybody was like all excited. Donald Trump just left. He didn't even have enough money to pay for school supplies. He had to use a credit card. And I was like, well, people like that don't carry cash. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't think. I don't, I, I mean, Look I don't at know. me. I didn't carry cash Friday. We went out for breakfast. Yeah, she stiffed me with breakfast. I had it in my work pants and I'm like, I have no money. I have no credit cards. All right. So Katie Nichols has a whole bunch of questions. That's the only one left that I have, I think. Yeah, that's all. So she has like four questions. So let's pick a couple. Kate Nichols wants to know, what movie do you never get tired of watching? Uh, <laughs> we know your answer. Oh, my answer? Yeah, we know it. Let's say it at the same time, Jess. Steel Magnolia. I love that movie. She could, it can make you laugh. It can make you cry. I, I quote it all the time, and it drives everybody nuts. And nobody even has ever seen it. As soon as I say, Steel Magnolia is my favorite movie, everybody's like, what? I like the original one with um, Dolly Parton and... Um, Sally Field and uh, Julia Roberts. That's like my favorite one. But they made a new one with Queen Latifah. And not that I didn't like Queen Latifah, it's just I'm used to the, the Southern accents of my, my girls. Why, because of the... It looks like a pig, two pigs playing. playing. <laughs> yeah, there's one thing where this lady's dancing all, and they said, it looks like two pigs wrestling under a blanket out there. And one of my favorite movies is Beaches. And the same thing, I've never saw the remake of Beaches. I just saw that. That was pretty good. But I also just recently watched um, Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants, and that was hysterical. That oh, that was, was funny. I've seen that. And I could see it. Like, not that my friends would all fit in the same pants, but, like, it's just crazy. <laughs> well, it, one thing that Nancy and I have, like, we have kids. So most of the movies we've watched, we're just now seeing movies that came out years ago because... What's, well, like, we've watched Frozen, and I watch a lot of Spongebob. I've seen, like, all all the kids' movies, like Lion King, Aladdin. What's that other one Tori used to like to drive me nuts with? We watched The Little Mermaid nonstop when we were little. A lot when they were little. So and the Beast. Like, so we've watched, watched a lot of big, big, big. <coughs> so, so Jess, what would be your favorite movie? What's your movie? favorite movie, Jess? I have not seen a lot of movies, but probably the movie I've watched the most, and I watched it two days ago, was Armageddon, of course. What? And Spirited Away. Why? Wow. Armageddon is the movie when you were little. I that know. That he would watch over and over. Now, I can't, like, if I watch a movie, if it's something great that I like, I can watch it. But I said, how can you watch this again and again? And Jess, being real young, says, if Daddy likes a movie, he should get to watch it as many times as he wants. <laughs> And I actually really like the movie. No, and the funny thing is, my that. favorite movie, Steel Magnolias, you bought it for me on DVD. I've never even opened the DVD. I just find it on, like, regular TV all the time. Or we had it on VHS, the 4-H fair, yeah. nonstop. One time we went to um, the 4-H fair, and we were there for five days, Jess. Yeah? And um, we didn't have any TV. And I, I have this really bad habit. I have to fall asleep by listening to, to the TV. So I had this old VHS of Steel Magnolias, so I watched it every day. It was the only movie we had with mm -hmm. us. So the kids watched, the kids could quote it like by the end of the four days. It was so funny. All right, she says, Katie Nichols also asks, if you weren't running a farm, what other career would you have liked to have had? The answer was before. Yeah, we've asked Year, this before. Like way back, one of the first videos, someone asked this. Um, I, I used to be a bookkeeper and I worked for other farmers, so I probably would be doing the same thing, running a farm for somebody else. I would be a rock star. Oh yeah. Performing on stage. I can see that. Selling out concerts. Wait, you heard me sing. They got to hear my Irish song. 
They didn't take and that I, off. Yeah, they saw you dance and then you were out for the week. Yeah, then it did me in. So. All right, Katie Nichols also said, do you have any luck, lucky objects you keep around the farm? Lucky objects? I don't. My rocks. Oh, yeah, she collects rocks. I don't think they're lucky, but they're... We've got a lot of rocks. lot of four-leaf clovers around the farm yeah, that just grow four, four and five and six. Farm. and. There's nothing that I personally keep, like, for luck. I got everything I need right here. Oh, and Katie is also the one that drew that really cool yeah. picture for us, and she asked if we still had it. I think it's still it's hanging, hanging up, up in the shop. Hanging up in the stand, Katie. Yep. And that is all of our Q&As that we have for today. So oh, thank you oh, wait, for your let me check this. There's notifications on my Twitter. What does that mean? It's from, I don't know how to say this name, T-A-A-V-I, and then last name is R-A-U-T-A-V-I-R-T-A. -A -A. Cans Farm had fun with the Reddit AMA last night. Oh, that was me. Jessica <laughs> here, did it. Let me get on. You want to talk about what you did? Jesse did? did something here. Oh, um website reddit and there's actually like different like sub pages subreddits for a million different things and i just thought to look up mcjugger nuggets on there and i just realized there's tons and tons of comments about all of his videos and like including the farm series and everything so i put a thing up there to ask me questions and they were asking questions and someone is actually getting a the little poster that i texted about last night oh, oh cool that's the one i got from the thing yesterday yeah. jesse had texted us but it was basically over over yes yeah. so and you only had a little tiny poster so yeah it was like an eight by ten instead of the big ones they had given all the big ones away yeah so that was neat I had like oh, cool 20 some questions asked oh that, yeah, that was, was neat, neat. All right, so Jess, you close it out for us. I don't know how I'm closing this out. Thanks for watching. Hit like. I don't know how to. I'm not a professional at this. Okay. Is it too dark in here? No, it's because. It's because you were face. She should have come around. Yeah. I'm trying to do that. So if you like this video, hit like. Leave us some nice comments. We really do love talking to you guys. Um, it's going to get busy soon and we won't have time anymore, but as long as we can. It's we'll, really hot today. It's like a taste of summer out here. So hit like, leave us some nice comments. If they're not nice, you know what I do anyway. Just remove it. And thank you for defending us when somebody isn't nice. Have a great day. Bye, friends.